to. I'd like to demonstrate the memory operations of the wrist reporter. The setup is one uh, where we showed previously where we have four different pressure modules. They are being uh, used in conjunction with the uh, SETRA pressure uh, calibrator. Uh, so 0.05 inches of water column is being forced upon four different uh, sensors. Sensor 1, sensor 2, sensor 3, and sensor 4. Right now we have memory group AD and we haven't stored uh, anything yet. I can press S to store all four of the most recent uh, pressures uh, being uh, shown here. If I press V, I come over to another view of the data. So in, in group AD I have one record. Uh, the time was 10.42 and uh, the date was uh, August 17th. One of the values is uh, shown here. The other values are shown in a review mode if I press S. If I go to memory operations, I have these capabilities. Next takes me to the next memory group, next being AE. Previous takes me back one uh, memory group from AD to AC. So let me show that. The cursor is on next. I change the cursor with these little arrow keys. If I press uh, S to select next, the memory group changed from AE to, from AD to AE. If I select previous, the memory group changes back from AE uh, to AD. With this cursor, I can select the option to delete all of the records from AD. I press S. It asks me if I'm sure that I don't need that data anymore. I'll press S for yes. And now AD has no records uh, in memory. However, previously uh, we stored data in AC. Uh, we have 20 records uh, stored in uh, AC. If I use the cursor to come over to delete all and press select and press S for S again, then all memory uh, will be uh, deleted. It takes me all the way back to, to memory group AA. No records, uh, obviously, are stored. So those are uh, four of the key memory operations in the risk reporter. I'd like to illustrate data logging. Also, I'll put the cursor on data logging and press select. Now I have my choice about the schedule for data logging. If I want to record every reading received, then I select shortest. My other options are to have one minute uh, in between stored readings or 10 minutes in between uh, stored readings. And these are chosen by uh, using the cursor. I'll select the shortest because it's easiest uh, to demonstrate. I'll press S to select that. It tells me I'm going to be uh, data logging in group AA. And press S to start data logging. If I change my mind or something comes up, I can press escape. Uh, to uh, get out of this uh, sequence. But I'll press S to go ahead. Here are my uh, four modules uh, being shown here. The most recent value is shown here for each of the sensors uh, under consideration. The total uh, stored is shown at the top, 52, 58, etc. And for each of the sensor modules, the number stored is shown along the right side here, 21, 22, uh, etc. When I'm finished, I press S to stop the data log, and now I have a view in the field of what I have stored. When I uh, get back to a personal computer, all of this data can be uploaded through this USB port uh, to an Excel uh, spreadsheet. But in the field, the records are shown here, record number 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. This is the node uh, that the result came from. This is the time, so 10.45 a.m. on August 17th, and the value of that node number 4 was 0.045. With this uh, chain moving the cursor down, I can see uh, all of the other, the rest of the data. For instance, we know sensor number 2 uh, had a negative uh, pressure being applied. Another uh, type of uh, move, movement of the cursor is obtained uh, with the escape button. If I press escape, I jump 
uh, to the first uh, record in the group. If I press escape again, I jump uh, to the last. So I can navigate through all of the stored readings using uh, these uh, arrow keys and uh, the escape key. And uh, that concludes the discussion uh, of the memory operations of the wrist reporter.